Hey, happy birthday. Hey, Jason, come join us. Look, I made cupcakes. And even if Spinelli comes home with Maxi, there's plenty. Hmm. I thought you'd have flowers, but oh well. I'm sure Sam's just happy to see you. Your birthday. Afraid so. Sam, I'm I'm so sorry. I I can't I can't believe I forgot. I... Oh, Sam, he's kidding. It's like the oldest joke in the book. As soon as you believe Jason really forgot, he's gonna pull out some totally awesome present. Jason has had a lot on his mind lately. This has been a really crazy week. No one expected Michael to go to prison. He's been running around like crazy, making sure that he smooths things over for him. I understand. But now that you know, maybe you can go back out and buy her some. No, you know what, pretty girl? I love you so much for making a big deal about my birthday, but sometimes as you get older, birthdays become a little less urgent. Anyway, Jason and I are gonna celebrate when things calm down a little bit. Right. That makes sense. So, did you do it? Did you make Michael safe in prison? Saving Michael could be as simple as uh, talking to someone in your poker group or your country club, one of your old cronies in Washington. Don't you know that I made those calls the instant that Michael was sentenced? I've done everything I can. Oh, that can't be. Yes, it can be, because the sticky part of this is that legally, Michael is not a Quartermain, he's a Corinthos. And no one with any political ambition is going to raise a finger to help a mobster's son. I told you from the very outset that Sonny's influence would ruin Michael, and now it has. God. <sighs> Lulu, they're not lying. I made some phone calls myself on Michael's behalf, and I can't even get a return phone call. Michael's future, unfortunately, is looking bleak and bleaker. But you're the one I'm concerned about. Well, I am fine. You won't be until you get away from Dante. <laughs> That's out of the question. Lulu, he's as toxic to you as Sonny is to Michael. That's absurd, because Dante is nothing like Sonny. You're wrong. You're operating under the misapprehension here that I'm some kind of boy scout, thinks the world is a perfect place where everything's fair and just and people always do the right thing. You know, you're looking a little starry-eyed from here, but whatever. Anyway, I understand the politics. Michael is Sonny Quintos' kid. We've been after Sonny for a long time. We spent a lot of time and money and effort to get him with nothing to show for it. But hey, there's Michael, there's this kid. It doesn't matter that he's got brain damage and that he's messed up. You know, just because that's the way it's always been done, doesn't make it right. It doesn't mean we can't change the mindset. Have you always been an overachiever? Not only are you gonna get Michael magically released, but you're gonna revamp the entire criminal justice system, aren't you? I'm gonna do everything I can to help my brother. And if you truly stand for something, you're gonna get off your ass and not wait for Jax to wave his magic wand and, and maybe come up with something that we can actually use. Permission not granted to take all the blame. I don't think I'd blame someone else if I could. Let's start with Elizabeth, that sanctimonious bitch. <laughs> Let's blame her. If she hadn't thrown herself at Jason that night at Kelly's, I wouldn't have ran to you and we wouldn't have devoured each other, betrayed our best friend, and jump-started that hideous cycle of disaster after disaster wouldn't have taken her son down with us, so hell yeah, let's blame Elizabeth. I already got a jump start on hating her. Look, it's my fault. I set this thing in motion, starting with that first night with you. I wanted to sleep with you. Then I wanted a family with you. So I lied over and over again to you, to myself. And the one thing that I said that I was going to give, I couldn't. I could not deliver a safe life for our kids. I let 
to convince me. We both did this. Sonny, we both did this. We got together because we were selfish. And the sex was good. And we could get lost in it for a while and try and convince ourselves that we weren't these awful people. What's dark in you reinforces what's dark in me. And it makes us feel normal. And we're a lot alike. Out of all the people in this world, we keep finding each other.